Okay guys, this is Big Guy again, coming to you from Country Classic Cars. And one of the first cars I want to look at here is this 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. This white, survivor of a time Cadillac. It's a two-door, it's a fully powered California car. And we're going to take a look at the body and uh, we're going to take a good look at the interior. And if we can, we want to look at the motor. But, uh, Let's take a good look at this front end. And I'm taking it from an angle from behind another car because it's real tight fit over there, so it's hard to get good angles. But you know what? That don't matter. As long as we can get a good look at the car. And it's a nice straight body Cadillac. This one here, like I said, when I talk about survivors, I mean survivor of time. It lasted from the time it was produced. And it's still sitting on four wheels, still drivable. Take it out and have some fun or finish rebuilding it, restoring it, restoring it to the, um, in or, the order of it was when it first produced, you know, meaning back to its original beauty. You know, let's take another look from a different side. Yeah, guys, this thing has a straight body for a two door car. We're gonna get the angles best we can. The doors, the rear body seems clean. I always thought it was real pretty neat how these fenders were always designed like this. I saw that when I was a kid that still sleekness to a fishtail, you know, as you come to the back and it tapered down like a wing on a bird. You had that pointy back end, gas cap dead in the middle, chrome bumper going across. And uh, Tornado's kind of the same way, you know, as you come up, you see that sleek fast back window with the crease right down the middle going back up over the top of the roof roof is pretty solid not too bad for a california car you know we see the hood all the lines are pretty straight the hood isn't popped up too much meaning out of line well maybe over on that side is a little bit but that was always the problem with these cars. Every last one I saw that were looking that way over time. I don't know if that was due to something in the back of the hood where it was connected to. Something usually wore off on these cars over time. But I'm telling you, this one here turned out to be a really nice find. Very old school rear view mirror. I think it's only got the one on this side. I don't recall seeing. Yeah, it's only that one. Those old hubcap styles. Yeah, back in the day, hubcaps were a thing, weren't they? Now you got more cars with rims than you ever had before in life. Rims are much simpler, you know. They became much simpler made it simple let's take a look on the inside if this door is a little heavy i wasn't expecting the weight hey here's something back in the day person that was sitting in the back seat had a way of opening up the door to get out oh yeah a handle to be able to get them out so you could just sit back up front here and relax. They could get out. Go take care of business, preferably the kids. You know. And they had the um, full electric windows. Yeah. Take a look at this car from the inside. The interior is nice. Headliner is pretty good. Let's get back to that back seat. Interior is real nice. 
and no rips or tears. Uh-uh, not from this driver's side. You can't see nothing over there. I don't see anything out of order. Bucket seats, leather bucket seats. Even though it's white interior, it could be cleaned. But still, this is nice, real nice. And I don't see much wrong with it now that I'm inside of here. Oh, yeah. Back seats look good. Front seats look real good. Spin it around. Take a good look at this interior. I believe that's old school. That dial is an old school speed control. Haven't seen something like that in a long time. Interior is nice. Dashboard is pretty clean and nice. No cracks in the windshield up front. <clears throat> nice thin steering wheel. Able to adjust the steering wheel up and down, so it's got that. 120 on the dash. It's a nice car. I'm trying to find the mileage on here. I don't know if there's exact miles because it's saying 26,000, so it's probably 126,000. But it's a 67, so yeah, it's got to be well over 100. Probably if it was a daily driver, it went over 200. <laughs> 1967. Let's take a good look at this uh, information on here and uh, we can find out. As it says, first generation Eldorado, 1967 Cadillac L Dog. You see the price here at Country Classic Cars. And um, yeah, this was a nice find. 